Hey guys, welcome back to Pet Science and welcome back to today's episode of Birds in the Wild. The star in today's episode is one of my favorite birds. It's the adorable Mandarin duck. Number one, we're starting with classification. The Mandarin duck, ex galericulata, is in class Aves, which means birds, order Anseriformes, family Anatidae, and genus X, that includes only two birds, the Mandarin duck and the wood duck. Number two, description. The Mandarin duck is one of the world's most beautiful birds. It is usually from 41 to 49 centimeters long, and the wingspan is between 65 and 75 centimeters. Before I start describing how the male mandarin duck looks, you've probably seen some pictures of mandarin ducks in the internet. And even now, if you search for mandarin duck, you will see two birds, one in color beige and the other one extremely colorful. This bird, the extremely colorful one, is the male one, but it's not always like that. I was shocked when one of my colleagues told me that the mandarin duck is that colorful only during the mating season. First of all, I couldn't believe that. But I know that a lot of species of ducks change their feathers during mating season and then at the other time of the year they are in more neutral colors in order to blend with their surrounding. So here goes nothing. The mandarin duck has a red bill, a green central line on his head that also has purple, large white crescent above the eyes and a reddish face. He has purple breasts with two vertical white bars and a big white belly. No, we're still not done. He also has orange feathers on both sides of his neck and he has sails. Yes, you heard me right. Sails at the beginning of the tail and at the end of the wings. They're called sails because these feathers kind of look like ship sails and they're bright orange. The female has more simpler look with her color beige, a belly in the color light brown with white spots all over it, a dark color of brown wings with just one line of blue or just few feathers of blue on the wings and a white line around her eyes. Number three, diet. Their diet depends on the season. In the winter, they usually eat acorns and grains. In the spring, they mostly eat snails, fish, insects, and aquatic plants. In the summer, they eat dewworms, small fish, small snakes, and frogs. And they mainly feed at dawn or dusk. Number four, behavior. Like most ducks, they only pair for one season and new pairs will form again in the autumn. The mandarin duck loves small wooded ponds and usually avoids lakes or large bodies of open water. They nest in cavities in trees near water. The females lay these eggs in these tree cavities. They are extremely maneuverable flyers, able to fly through trees with remarkable ability. Number five, habitat. The mandarin duck is native to Japan and China. The Asian population is migratory, overwintering in lowland eastern China and southern Japan. Their breeding range is in forests around the lakes. They mainly prefer fresh water, but during winter you may see them in coastal lagoons. Since today's episode, was a surprise. I also have another surprise for you. That's a short clip of two mandarin ducks, a female and a male. But before I play the clip, if you did like the video, give it a thumbs up, share it, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button so you get notified for every single episode and for every single video I post. You can also follow me on social media. The links to my accounts will be down below. Until next time, I wish you all the best and enjoy the video.